What's up guys, Oscar Gomez here from Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. So if you're at home quarantined just like me, don't let your battery become a quarantine victim just like us. Go ahead and grab your voltmeters guys, let me show you a quick easy step to check your battery to make sure it doesn't drain. So if you're stuck at home guys and you need to test your battery, here's one of the quick methods to actually test it. This is a $6 uh, voltmeter that you can buy at Harbor Freight or you can get it for free if you have a coupon. So using this voltmeter, we're gonna test the battery to make sure that the battery hasn't drained over these last couple of days that you haven't been driving your vehicle. Let's take a look. Using an inexpensive voltmeter, just like you can see here, you would wanna do is you go to volts DC. Since it is a car battery, we'd wanna do 20 volts. And then we would power on our voltmeter, make sure that it's zeroed out, and then we'll go ahead and test the battery. Okay, so when you test your battery, what you wanna do is you wanna put your red lead on the positive and your black lead on the negative. A fully charged battery should show 12.6 volts and a fully discharged battery would be 12.0 uh, volts. So here we're seeing 12.5, so we have a fully charged battery. If you're like me and you can't tell your left from right or your red from black, not a problem. If you mix up your leads, that's not a problem at all. The only thing you're gonna get is a negative reading. So notice how our meter is reading negative 12 volts. Not a problem, nothing will happen. All you gotta do is flip your leads and you'll get a positive reading. That means that we still have a good solid battery on this car and we're not going to get stuck quarantined at home with a dead battery. And that's it, guys. If your car's sitting at home, it is going to drain the battery. Make sure that at least if your battery does measure anything below 12.4 volts, start your car up for 10, 15 minutes to recharge the battery, then go ahead and shut it off. If you don't have a voltmeter, just make sure that you're starting your car at least once a week, maybe twice a week. So this way you make sure that the battery stays fully charged and you're going to have a fully charged battery in case of an emergency. As always, guys, a good technician is always learning. Signing off here, Oscar Gomez, smartautotraining.com.